RMC just launched an all new family coaster. Surprise, surprise, they're doing their own take on a wild mouse, which they're calling the Wild Moose. The cutest game ever! <laughs> I love it so much! I know. And in honor of the Wild Moose, we are coming to you bringing this update from the great outdoors where there could be a moose lurking at every corner. Or a mouse. Or a mouse. Or you never know. So let's talk about this. Basically, they said, you know what? People really like our pre-lift sections. Let's do a whole ride like that. If you look at all the different RMCs, they all have their own unique kind of pre-lift section. Some more intricate than others. And they usually consist of like little like non-air tiny bunny hills or outer banks. And they're sort of taking that and translating it into a family coaster model because they're not intense moments. No. A wild mouse inherently has weird feeling moments like those tight lateral turns oh i know it's like how is it going to navigate this curve and this is absolutely going to do that but in yes. a different way so now instead of a 180 degree lateral turn now imagine you're going this way and then you go this way it honestly is a brilliant idea because now like that i've seen it i'm like that is like perfect yeah. for kids and families like perfect it's gonna use their eye box track so it's gonna mm -hmm. be super duper duper smooth and it's gonna feel just like your regular run-of-the-mill rmc but it's be for families yeah i mean and rmc's already have a relatively low height requirement most of them have 48 inches so now imagine you can have an even lower height requirement bring some of those young kids and get a taste of rmc and it's not going to feel similar to parks that already have their rmc yes. so if you already got an rmc you can add one of these and it's not going to take away from it but what you should do is remove your old wild mouse first and put this in because it can fit in the same footprint yes they guaranteed that you can either Either just build one even if you don't have a wild mouse or you could literally replace the old one stick it in the same spot and it'll fit perfectly that is so smart it is and they have that off-the-shelf model so if you're a small park looking for something not custom just like cheap you can just like buy and it's not gonna be too expensive this is a very good option for you which is extremely different for RMC because nothing with their iBox track has ever been like a cloned model they're always yeah. like a unique layout one of the other big advantages that we're looking at here is increased capacity so your average wild mouse holds four riders in these tiny little cars and that's really why they are not calling this like RMC's wild mouse because we're looking at 12 passengers passengers per train Moose. to across. So it is going to be a train where we got six cars on Moose here train. and it's entirely new. It's not the same boxcar feel. It's not the swing axle trains that you get on like Twisted Timbers, Iron Guazi, any of that They're stuff. really open air. It looks really nice. Yeah. I almost feel like it's inspired from like the Gersar ones you see on like Iron Rattler. They still have the shin guards though. Yes, but that's because it's open air. You know, yes. you got to keep your legs in there. Yes. But I hope that they're still uh, accommodating to larger riders because I know that some of the other RMCs uh, you hear that some larger riders might not be able to fit in. So hopefully this is like a good step in the direction where you can open up to a wider portfolio of riders. Mm, please, if these are good, put them on the regular full size. Yeah, <laughs> do, you, do you think that we'll see now open air trains on future like larger layouts? I, I do because I think that they know that their biggest like complaint that people get give them are the trains. You know, Taller passengers, small, like, that's where you it's get It's usually it. height, yeah. It's, it's the shin guards. That's, mm -hmm. That seems to be like the main thing. And also like some people don't like the boxy feel. I don't mind it, but like I think that open air feels can be really pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I want to ride one of these. Like I'm, I know. I, it's funny because they rolled out like a family coaster model like what was it two years ago maybe yeah and nobody nobody bit it, yeah it was kind of inspired it, it reminded me of like the gravity group family sized wooden roller coasters kind of their take on it and, and no one got one well the thing is the family coaster market is so saturated it's very competitive so you have to do something that is super different than what everyone else is doing and like a, a smaller scale down rmc really isn't that this is different yes and and they say in their press release they're like this is unmistakably rmc it's yes. gonna feel like rmc but just for a gentler crowd and i yes. think enthusiasts are gonna like this as well yeah. as kids i would rather ride one of these than a regular wild mouse give me the moose baby yeah yeah so i'm excited to see uh which parks end up picking these up i think again it's gonna open up to a much wider audience uh just to clarify this is meant to be a permanent installation so none of those carnivals or fairs that are traveling around are gonna be able to get one of these uh unless you're a per permanent fair like maybe the washington state fair or something Peter prodder oh hey yeah. you know that'd be, oh well they already have like two wild mice so this isn't the same them, it's a wild moose give them a wild moose it's not yeah the same. or hey those parks that have an old wild mouse that you got like you want to do something with hey i know wild waves you got a wild mouse that's been sitting sbno put one of these in then maybe i'll actually moose. go back to your park <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm excited for this i think it'll, it's really cool i like that they'll be able to work on this as well as the larger projects it gives rmc um, a wider more diverse portfolio and the parks have more options now, more than ever. Let's go get one. Let's buy one. Put it in the backyard. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Let us know what you think of the wild moose from RMC. And post all those thoughts down below. And stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios.
We'll see you next time. Bruce! Why did you actually scared me? <laughs> what is wrong with you?